Hello and welcome to this look at balancing redox equations in alkaline conditions. This is slightly more challenging than the normal acidic conditions because first of all it doesn't come up very much in exam questions so there's not much, much opportunity to practice it. When it does come up it can be a bit disconcerting where to put the OH minus ions whether it's on the left hand side or the right hand side. So let's have a look at the first one. In alkaline conditions, MnO4- is reduced to Mn2 plus by VO-, minus, which is oxidized to VO3. Now obviously there's two separate half equations in that sentence. So the first thing to do is to separate them out. So let's take the first part. Alkaline conditions, MnO4- minus is reduced to Mn2 plus. So you put the MnO4- minus on the, on the left hand side and the Mn2 plus on the right. You need five electrons and the reason for that is if we look at the oxidation number of manganese, it goes from plus 7 down to plus 2. So therefore, all those five electrons on the left-hand side have to be balanced somehow. So if we put the 8 OHs on the left-hand side, that's just adding to them. So this, in this case, you need to put the OH minuses on the right-hand side. So you def definitely need more than five um, minus charges on the right-hand side. You also need to take account of the fact you have four oxygens in MnO4. So a bit of multiplying up lands you at 8 OH minus and therefore you've got four H2Os. So it's quite interesting to note the relationship between the number of moles of OH minus and the number of moles of H2O. So we need to bear this in mind when doing half equations for reactions in alkaline conditions. So let's take the second part of that sentence where it mentions VO- minus being oxidized to VO3-. minus. So I'll take you through what we've done here. Obviously this time round the electrons are on the right hand side because it's a loss of electrons. So going from plus 1 to plus 5 means that you've got a loss of 4 electrons. So that means that in order for the um, minus charges to be balanced out, you need four OH minuses on the left hand side because you have the four electrons on the right. That leads to two H2Os being required on the right hand side as well. So obviously the, the electrons in the two half equations haven't been balanced, so you need to multiply up. So looking at five electrons and four electrons, the lowest common multiple is 20. So therefore by multiplying the top part by 4 and the bottom part by 5. In other words, the reduction gets multiplied by 4 and the oxidation gets multiplied by 5. You end up with these two half equations. Now the final thing to do is to cancel the electrons but also keep an eye on the waters and the hydroxides. So starting with the electrons, then we can go to the waters. Now if you look at the waters you'll see that there's 16 H2Os in the reduction and only 10 H2Os in the oxidation. So the 10 H2Os go, and that leaves 6 H2Os behind in the reduction half equation. Looking at the hydroxides, you've got 32 hydroxide ions in the reduction and 20 hydroxide ions in the oxidation. So removing the 20, and that leaves you 12 hydroxide ions in your reduction. So now you can combine what's left, which gives you 4 MnO4, plus 5VO- minus plus 6H2O giving 4MN2+, plus 5VO3- minus plus 12OH-. Minus. Okay, hopefully this has been a useful look at a quite challenging example. Thanks for listening as always. Until next time, see you soon.